welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Wow, I haven't heard that name in a while. You aren't reading that title wrong. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes was actually a thing. It started as a movie released in 1978, a parody of disaster horror movies like The Birds, but instead focused on, well, Killer Tomatoes. It didn't do so well at the time, but it had enough cult appeal to not only get three sequels, but an entire Saturday morning cartoon that lasted for two seasons. Granted, it's one of those franchises almost entirely propped up by irony, but hey, there's a market for that. Plus, it did have some influence on the world. The second movie was one of the earliest appearances of George Clooney. Let's be honest, that probably is the series' highlight. But it did have some popularity, and therefore video games came a-calling. And it may surprise you to find out that it was a licensed game not made by LJN, presumably because even they had no idea what to do with it. This one was developed by Equilibrium Incorporated, who only existed for about four years and made a small handful of games, mostly licensed titles such as Swamp Thing and The Flash, and it was published by THQ. In fact, it was one of the earliest games ever published by THQ, barely a year into their existence. Interesting gamble to stake the future of the company on tomatoes, but whatever. And the cover can be enjoyed by anyone, both fans and non-fans alike. If you're a fan, you'll recognize the logo anywhere. And if you're not a fan, well, it's called Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. That's the selling point right there. I mean, what else is there even to say? Arm yourselves with plenty of spaghetti for Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Ooh. THQ Inc. presents... An Equilibrium Production. Man, they are... Building up to this song, it better be worth it. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Of the Killer Tomatoes. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Oh, it was worth it. Oh my god, this, this was a thing. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. As you recall from the last episode, la episode, oh shoot. Dr. Gangrene has begun an assault on the world beginning with San Zucchini. His tomatoes have taken over the city and nearby countryside. Only one man can stand up to them. Tomato Wars veteran Wilbur Finlander. Was he the protagonist of the movie? I actually don't remember. We join our game already in progress. Ah ha ha, fourth wall. Well, there he is. So it's B to jump. Huge jump. A to karate leg kick. I can crouch kick and jump kick. I can kick stumped. Oh, hey! Is that even a tomato? Uh, I don't know, but it hurt me. That looked tomato ish. Start does nothing. Select puts me on the skateboard. Okay. Sure. Uh, oh, I bet I just have to do something like. Well, wait, can I go up first? Aha, I can. But there's more interesting stuff down here. Here's the thing, I should mention, I'm not going to be able to compare it to the show because I do barely remember the show. Like, I remember it was a thing, ow, but I watched only a couple episodes. Okay, that's interesting ground. Out of the way. Oh, tomato! Kick the tomato and pick up the small tomato. I assume I can jump on clouds because it's a video game. I'm not sure what I was expecting from an Attack of the Killer Tomatoes game, but I can't tell if this matches my expectations or not. Because on one hand, it's absurd, but on the other, so was the show? How do I use my sword? Oh, I hit start and I throw it incredibly awkwardly. Huh. Is that like a plot? A point? What do I do? I'm gonna jump off here. This is actually where I'm supposed to go. There's something very, like, delayed about the movement. Like, it works, but it's just everything seems slow. Okay, we're on the Great Tomato Bridge. It's gonna walk up. Okay. Oh boy, this is... This is not good. <laughs> it's slow so far. Very, very slow. I'll take that. Okay, I have two cans of things. What do I do with them? How do I even win? How does one win a tomato war? I'm gonna hold select. No! Oh! Oh dear. How do I pause? Oh, you have to hit select and start. I'm just gonna quickly look up what's the point of the game. How, how, how do you win? In order to beat each stage, you do have to collect something. A tomato can, which I think we had. 
So it's one of those platformers where you have to, you know, it's a collect-a-thon. Except you're collecting one object. You're just collecting a single tomato can. It's like the diametric opposite of Banjo-Kazooie. Can. It's sorta functional, is what I'm prepared to say. Can I throw my sword up? I cannot. Functional in the sense that I can play and move around. But do you remember what I said about Terminator 2? That it was like super difficult but fun? This is the opposite of that, in that it's pretty easy. Apart from some BS with this bridge. But just boring. And I mean, it takes a lot of work to make Attack of the Killer Tomatoes boring, you know? <laughs> the exit is this log, of course. What do I do? How? What? Back to the guide. Climb down the log to finish the stage. What? Uh, how? Oh, come on. And now, the weather. Oh, this is, this is not good at all. <laughs> Man. Okay, so we have to look for tomato cans. It's like an explore em up ow, explore em up action game, kinda? But it's just super awkward and weird. I will say this, the music's kinda nice. Alright, let's just explore new tomato city. Oh, I missed the lightning bolt. Zeus was gonna help me on my quest to kill the killer tomatoes. I do not know what you would do for an attack of the killer tomatoes game. But I feel like it should at least be a little more fast-paced. Just because of how absurd the premise is. You kind of want to run with that, you know? And this one is just... Ugh. Okay, so here's the exit. But I don't have the tomato can. Ugh, where is it? Also, you run faster than the camera? Oh, there it is. Hello. How? What? Wait, how am I supposed to get that? Just everything about this game is a little bit off. Hello, folks, it is true. The game is up and the tomatoes have won. I repeat, the tomatoes have won. For a game not made by LJN, this is the kind of thing most people think of when they think of LJN games. But the fact is, LJN did make good stuff, and those types of games were not limited to them. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is a weird single item collect em up. And then again, I guess, what are you supposed to do with Attack of the Killer Tomatoes as a game? I guess you could make like a cooking simulator, as morbid as that sounds. This is the worst thing to happen to tomatoes since sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah, I said it. Yes, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is about as ridiculous a premise as you can get. But video games have long embraced ridiculousness, so as long as the game embraced that, it could have been great. And in some ways it did. The game did have a nice look to it with distinct and over-the-top sprites and animations, as well as the in-between cutscenes that did capture the spirit of the show. But that presentation was hurt somewhat by the slowdown the game experienced when there was too much happening on screen. And honestly, with a franchise like Attack of the Killer tomatoes, you kind of want too much to be happening on screen to really sell it. But of course, it all comes down to gameplay, which just wasn't any fun. It was a platformer and a single item collectathon, but it lacked the energy that a game like this needs, instead just leaving you to plod through slowly. Honestly, the exploration aspect of the game, necessary for any find the item to win game, just wasn't very explory. Plus, with the special attack and dash, map to start and select, it just became awkward to play, compounding the poor gameplay even more. A faster style of game with more excitement, I think would have worked better. Like I said, this franchise really needed something with more energy. Gameplay this slow made the whole thing fall flat. While I do recommend the movie and the show for how absurd they are, the game is definitely skippable. It's at least playable, but it lacks the enjoyment or energy to really stand out amongst the crowd. You deserved better than this, Tomatoes. You could have done something far more useful like playing poker. Seriously, how is this show a thing? And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to subscribe so you can follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.